welcome back to the channel. This is Jesse and my dad. This is BC Fishing Journal. Today we are out on the porta boat, the 12 foot porta boat, just off West Vancouver. And uh, we're fishing for, initially we were trolling for coho, and we've caught nothing but dogfish trolling that. But uh, we're having a lot of fun just fishing off the bottom now. We're catching flounder, we're catching uh, dogfish, still more dogfish. I think we've got a dozen dogfish by now. But uh, we also got the go fish camera going, so that's going to be fun. So you get to see the bottom bottom view, so that's kind of neat. But yeah, here we go. So we got just a trolling motor in the back. Soon to have a six horsepower Suzuki back there, which will be a lot of fun. And uh, oh, do we have a fish on? No. It was, nope. uh, it, was in, it was deeper here. All right, stay tuned and let's see how the day progresses. another dogfish no it's a flounder this is a good one this is a better yeah yeah another that's actually a good size that's not bad whoa this is a heavier one. Oh, that's a nice one that's a big one we're keeping him oh dinner time hello <laughs> dinner i'm gonna double check how many we're allowed to keep with these guys now two license we can keep uh Pretty sure we can keep four each. Oh, we got, we got close to that. I'll double check that though. Could be more, could be eight each. There we go. Try it, Maybe let, let me try it a little. So we have... Yeah, this little guy, he's a, he is a fighter. See, this one doesn't have the the stri the the the, um, the little uh, spots. He has no spots. The other ones, some they all have different markings. I always find that fascinating. That's what we need to do. I might have to reinforce some of this rig setup though, because I don't want to lose it. Okay, bud. Don't worry. We're gonna get you off here. These pliers are excellent. I love those pliers. The trick is we're just getting it to the bottom and we have a three ounce weight and that just gets it to the bottom real quick and then our, our lure is just a couple inches off there so it's, 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 it's structured so that 
it's called in like a pickerel rig, but it's a little bit larger for salt. Oh, that looked like a take. Um, and so it gets the the bait just off the off the bottom. So it's perfect for for bottom fish. Yeah, you got him. This one's a flounder, little guy. Oh, he's oh. tiny. Oh, that's the tiny one. one. All right, he was the one fooling around. All right, we'll let this guy go. Oh, did he? Let's see if he wolfed this one. Oh no, he's. All right, so the little guy. So... Yeah, we'll let him go. Nice try. All right, look at it. It's all fairly intact. <laughs> okay, I might put a new worm on there. Okay. All the traffic has gone out further or west. So that guy, let's throw that. Oop, free lunch. So you don't need a full chunk of worm. Although when you half them, obviously they're less active, but I just chop them in half like so. Isn't that something that little thing would fought like that, eh? Those flounder, they're pretty impressive. And then the, the shrimp actually helps to hold the worm on too. That's kind of a little tip. Stopper. It acts like a little stopper, exactly. All right, back down we go.
They love the worm. They're loving the worm. This guy. No, I'm just going to show them to the camera. Beautiful fish. He's got the nice little spots on him. I love that. Like the little, little spots on their back there. Yellow. What's the species there? Leave this down in the comment. Leave a comment down in the bottom there. What species of this flounder is that? You can see that black thing on there. That's the Go Fish Cam. And that camera is for sale if you want. There's a link in the description below. And I've got a little promo on there. So if you get, if you click my link, you'll get 15% off. Check it out. All right, we're back, we're done. No salmon uh, with the trolling motor. We didn't go again, we didn't go out that far, but we had a great time, just right there. So not your typical boat launch, but uh, for the porta boat, it's no problem. So we're gonna fold that back up and we're just gonna put it on my car. So it just goes right on top there, so that's perfect. All right, that's Jesse from BC Fishing Journal. Thanks so much for watching guys. Appreciate you spending some time with me and with my dad. I hope this was fun for you, educational. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions on fishing, bottom fishing West Van or even trolling and, and uh, knowing how to get skunked, by all means, drop me a comment. Thanks very much and we'll see you in the next video.